Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So, one of my viewers, Michaela, hi Michaela, said to me, have I ever swiped with a turkey feather? And I was like, no, I normally swipe with either a palette knife, a piece of plastic, or more recently, through a lot of my creations that you've probably seen, toilet paper or tissue. So today I'm using turkey feathers to swipe a design. I'm using my embroidery hoops. I've got three of them. I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas where I'm using a Payne's Grey base. And my color palette today is blues and gold. I'm really excited for this. Let's see if the turkey feather works and if it's gonna be one of my new favorite tools to do the swipe. So let's see what we can create. So this is my 20 by 20 inch canvas. As you can see, I've already painted the sides. I've got my three embroidery hoops, my turkey feathers, and these have been sourced naturally. So I've got a range of turkey feathers, different sizes and different widths, because as you know, I love to swipe with different widths. This is my color palette. So as you can see, this is the Payne's Gray. It almost looks black, but there's obviously that tint of blue to it. All my ratios and all my colours are in the description box below so please check that out for more information. This is going to be Precious Gold by Pebio and then I've got a range of Amsterdam paints. So I will list all the colours in the description but just to give you an idea here are all the colours now. Some of them I can pronounce, <laughs> some of them I can't. So I'll make sure that they are all written in the description because if you'd like to use this colour palette yourself, you've got all those details. Here's the tones of the blues that I'm using and each one is mixed with a pouring medium. One part paint, one part water, three parts pouring medium. So you can see the consistency, a mound on a mound and then it disappears into the cup. So let's start with the base coat. And I always say this is one of the most important parts of the process, because if you can get your base consistency in your coat on your canvas correct, then it really helps with the process overall. So I always start in the middle of the canvas with pouring my paint, and then I'm using my palette knife to spread the paint out across the base of the canvas. I find doing it this way allows me to get a consistent coverage across the canvas itself. So I'm now gonna move on to my three embroidery hoops. And these are gonna be the basis of where I swipe. I don't think I wanna go directly in the middle of the canvas. I'd like an off center position. That's just gonna create a different vibe and different movement to the overall piece. So I'm thinking of placing it here not in the middle, just off center. So I'm gonna place one of the rings down first. I'm going to gently press it onto the canvas so the paint connects with the ring. That will form a seal around the ring with the paint. And then I'm just going to place the other two embroidery hoops within that ring itself. That's going to mean that I can add some paint within the rings and the larger ring that you see is going to be the basis of the swipe with the feather. So I'm going to take my gold first and I'm going to place some of the gold paint within the inner hoop. And I'm going to swipe around using a feather. I'm going to also do some blue and then we can carry on with the process. What I would say here is when you're adding some paint within these hoops, I use my spatula because I drizzle the paint around the hoop. I don't necessarily pour the paint directly within the hoop. I'm doing that because I want minimal paint. I've got a small feather, so I'm gonna use that feather to move the paint that I've placed within that hoop around that hoop. If I place too much paint within those rings, when I go to remove the embroidery hoops, the paint will expand and flow out on the canvas. 
And what I really want to achieve here is some colour within those hoops, but not too much liquid so it moves when those hoops are removed. I'm now going to do exactly the same, but with a blue tone around the other ring. And then once I've done this, we'll layer the paints up around the outer hoop and swipe with a large turkey feather. And guys, I can't wait for you to see the effect. It might be one of my new favorite tools to use because I feel that the texture and the movement the feather provides while swiping is great on this type of creation. I can't wait for you to see it, so stick around so you can see the full process. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, because that helps me reach other people on YouTube that aren't yet either subscribed to my channel or aware of my channel, who might also be interested in this art form. So now I'm going to take the rest of my blue colour palette and I'm going to layer the paint around the outer hoop. This time I am pouring the paint directly on the canvas around the hoop in a circular motion. I take one colour at a time and then what I'll do is I will then use the feather, the turkey feather, to swipe that paint that we're layering now around that outer hoop and swipe it across the canvas. And by swiping, we're gonna create different depth because we're going to use different width turkey feathers. That really does help with that dimension and that depth and gives it a 3D effect. But first of all, let's just concentrate on the current process. Let's not worry about what we're doing shortly. Let's be in the present moment and enjoy our creation process as we paint. So this is all about just layering the paints one by one around the outer edge of the hoop. My blues are now down, but I do want to add some gold around the blues that we've layered on the outer edge of the embroidery hoop. That's going to help with the connection of the rings. So you can see there we've done a gold ring. And I just wanted to add some gold to help with some depth within the blues. That's going to help with different tones. It's going to help with a completely different vibe in terms of how the gold will infuse with the blue, create some lacing and cells, not too much, but some. You can see here all the colors that we've already layered. And I'm going to take a large turkey feather. All of these feathers have been sourced naturally. And I'm gonna take the feather and use the tip of the feather first. And I'm gonna do what I would normally do with my toilet paper. I'm going to immerse the feather within the paint. So I'm going to place the feather on top of the paint, allow it to soak in slightly. And then I'm literally going to move the feather in the direction towards the edge of the canvas. I've got some tissue in my hand because I'm just wiping the feather 
every time I swipe. The feathers are waterproof, but the acrylic paints will absorb eventually. So by swiping the paint and then wiping the feather on my paper just means that I can do clean lines as I swipe with the feather. I work my way around the canvas, around that circle, and swipe with the same size feather. And as you'll see, as we go throughout this process, I reduce the width of the feather by using a different one. And that's what's gonna really create the depth to this piece. So as you can see, I'm now going between the gaps and swiping some more paint that we've already layered out towards the edges of the canvas. I've now reduced the feather size. I've swapped feathers. This is still a turkey feather. And I'm just swiping within the gaps where there's more of the negative space, more of the Payne's gray tone. And I'm just swiping all the way around the embroidery hoops. Once I've done enough of that, it's time to remove the hoops one by one. Just gently lift them off the base of the canvas. Don't forget, they're connected with the paint. So you might have some splashes from the paint if you do it too quickly. That's why I just do it slowly. Now this is obviously the wet version but I want to show you some of those details. We've got the two solid rings in the center of this piece, not in the center of the, the canvas itself because we decided to do an off center creation, but I really, really feel that it kind of creates that depth and that movement that we plan to do by swiping using the different widths of the feathers around those circles infusing the gold within that blue color palette really does give some interest to this piece. There are some cells around the edges, not too many, but gives a few details. And I really do love how those blues have infused together to create various tones without the piece. I'm of course gonna let this dry and then I'll take you in for a close up of the dry version. So here we go. This is the dry version. It's not yet varnished, but it's still so, so vibrant. I do varnish all of my pieces. I use a gloss spray varnish, but let me show you some of these details. I'll go around this canvas now. I'll go around the full creation so you can see how those rings have dried and how all of those swipes have maintained their vibrancy and their shape. I really do love this technique. And Michaela, a big shout out to you as a big thank you for suggesting to me to use a turkey feather. I've never thought about swiping with one before, but I'm adding it to my list of things that I'm gonna swipe with because it was so much fun. So thank you for your suggestion. And a big thank you to all of you for watching and for supporting me. Don't forget, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's free for you to do. And if you like this video and this creation, please give it a thumbs up and a like. It really does help me reach other people across YouTube who might be interested in what I do as an artist. Thank you again, all of you, for your time. I hope you have a great week and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. 
Take care, everyone. And remember, be kind to yourself when creating and just enjoy that process. See you soon. Bye.